Wim, if we look at reality, we see lots of order, things that are laws, uh, things that work together, objects. But we see a lot of disorder, uh, a lot of randomness, uh, probabilistics from quantum physics to, uh, um, to comets and meteors crashing around in, into one another in, in the solar system. So is there any significance in that, that so much order and so much disorder? As I see it, the disorder is to a large extent part of the order, in that the order of reality, uh, say the Earth, for instance, has uh, a crust and plate tectonics, and that creates disasters, that creates uh, places for uh, earthquakes and so on. Um, but that's part of being uh, running according to the laws of nature. It's, it's not something that goes against it. So the order and disorder are very much part of the same coin. For humans, well, partly earthquakes, for instance, uh, is that disorder? In a sense, uh, it, it's neutral. It, Indonesia, for instance, I spent some time there, would not exist without having those earthquakes. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the people suffer from it. Uh, so for uh, in human existence, for those issues may that are neutral from a scientific perspective per se, May, may be felt very hard. And so it raises the issue for human, humans as communities, mm. how to deal with it, how to relate with it. And in that context, they, there is a, a huge role, I think, for the religious communities and the religious expressions to, to strengthen people to work with what's at first for them, even if it's part of the, the natural way of, of things operating, including, uh, well, personal death and, and natural disasters and everything that we don't like. You bring up religion uh, almost as a, uh, a pacifier for human problems. Um, but how does religion deal with the fundamental reality that there is so much disorder that, that causes uh, problems? Well, part of it is... Uh not by, I think, playing it down and saying, well, <laughs> it must have a good purpose, but still uh, by, to some extent, something close to that, saying uh, in the uh, affirmation that in the midst of, of a natural disaster, for instance, or following up after that, that some people at least might say, well, we are in God's hands, that they affirm hope despite all the challenges that they are facing rather than that they uh, say, well, those challenges are not real or the problems are not real. It, this didn't happen. It did happen. And a, and a certain sense of being connected to a larger whole. You say that in a positive way, that, that that's good to do. Uh, to some extent, yes. It may also be kind of fatalistic as, well, it's in God's hands and we don't have to do anything. I, I, I think that's a, a mistaken way of it. It's not shoving off responsibility. Sure. But to make people feel better, I mean, that's always good to make people feel better, but you can do that with a drug. And maybe a drug is less destructive than doing it with religious ideas. The drug may be <laughs> also be quite destructive. <laughs> Side effects of drugs are well known. Uh, that they often true, occur. but it may be worse. Uh, the side effect but, of a drug may be less detrimental than the uh -huh. side effects of religion. To some extent, yes, of course, because the religion sometimes come with well, either the fatalism of uh, not taking your own responsibility. I think that's a risk there. Sometimes with power structures where there's all kinds of interest of religious mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. which may be problems. But uh, I think in a, in a human sense, it may also be a way of of. Uh, well, sharing with each other the sorrow and reaching out, saying going on towards the future. Yeah, certainly religion has been in that in that uh, role. Uh, but human beings can comfort each other certainly without having the baggage of of religious uh, belief in in gods or afterlives or rituals that you have to go through to to achieve those kinds of things. Um, it, it, do, do you see any? reality to where religion would be able to explain the kind of disorder that you're talking about? I mean, a reality to it, not just helping people to cope with it in a psychological way, as a crutch or as a pacifier. The immediate reality that people might, well, in a kind of 
say, uh, a prayer in the context of disaster or of disease and then expecting relief, I think that's so often disappointed that that kind of miraculous yeah. uh, expectation is not the way to go. Uh, so in a sense, it is far more modest. It is far more uh, finding a human language to express and share with each other uh, our concerns, our sorrow, and our hopes and dreams. Uh, but as such, well, we seem to be touching upon a possibility, at least, of over time uh, sharing each other, helping each other, sharing with each other. Uh, Would it be things. better if that could be done without the baggage of a supernatural uh, entities behind the whole thing? I'm not sure about better or worse. I think it can be done without. Uh, I do think there are plenty of of highly respectable uh, people, say humanists or or people who take a very secular point of view and just take their responsibility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So I don't think it's religion is necessary there, uh, but I think it's deeply ingrained into human nature to use those those uh, religious expressions, both as rituals. Uh, we are, I think, by nature, uh, more inclined to to, well, be uh, use rituals, use uh, music. Uh, you could do it without music, living, mm -hmm. but it would be missing mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So you asked about order and disorder and how we deal with disorder mainly, and I think uh, part of it just happens, and we have to deal with it. We cannot avoid uh, living with uh, what we consider negative. Uh, and part of it is that in that context, we need to re-find our, our own strength and our own orientation, our moral orientation to help each other, to build communities. Part of that, it, it's not dependent on religion. I know plenty of people who are not religious, who are very much uh, moral, highly moral, engaged, and so on. But I think in human nature, the religious form of expression of saying we are in the hands of God or of some higher power, uh, uh, it's not for nothing, there will be an ultimate destiny. That kind of uh, having a point on the horizon uh, helps people in their real lives to deal with the adversity. And that doesn't need really the reality of that point on the horizon. It's more a uh, part of the human way of living that it's uh, working so well.